Hey guys, Commander Bakar18 here back again, and today I'm reviewing Star Wars The Clone Wars Wave 3 Kai Adimundi, uh, or Clone Wars number 25 of the 2010 blue and black packaging, or you can call it the Shot of the Dark Side, either one. Um, so it's part of Wave 3, which just recently came out, um, which was about two weeks ago. Um, it's been spotted at Toys R Us, Walmart, and Target, which is where I got mine. Um, so, um, they're out there, so look for them. Um, so anyways, uh, shows the details for the Galactic Card game here. Uh, also the figure right there, of course. Here's the bottom. Uh, here's the back. Shows a picture of him from landing at Point Rain. Uh, also a picture of the figure. Uh, the Galactic Card game details are here, and also the other figures from the wave down here. Um, it says, Kai Anamundi is part of a massive, massive attack to destroy a genocene factory, churning out dangerous new battle droids. Damaged by enemy fire, the Jedi transport... The Jedi's transport crashes short of its des de destinate um, landing point. Uh, as he pushes forward, Kai, Kai Adimundi and his squad enter a cave where they are attacked by Genosian drones. Um, so, that's pretty much it for the box part of the review. Um, so, anyways, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Hey guys, Commander Bakara18 here back again, and I now have Kai Anamundi unboxed. Um, so, pretty cool figure. Uh, so I'll go over the accessories uh, first, just like always. Uh, so you get a card now, just like every Clone Wars and Saga Legends figures for the um, new blue and uh, black packaging. Uh, so nothing really too special about that. It's got the Galactic Card Game details on the back. Um, so yeah. Uh, same dice. Who really cares about these anymore? I got literally like 20 of these things already. I'm getting tired of this. Stop including these with the figures, Hasbro. I know that you want to make it for the kids to play a game, but I mean, really, I don't think we need 20 or 40 of these freaking little blue dice that nobody really cares about. And only, you know, you only really need one for the game. Maybe two or four, you know, it depends how many people you're playing with. But you don't need freaking 40 or 50 of these little blue things. I mean, seriously. Um, at this point, I'm actually going to consider throwing them away with the other junk that comes with the figure. Um, so, yeah. So, now to the figure himself. Uh, well, also, he comes with a stand, just like all the figures now. Um, but, the figure himself, so he's, the only accessory he comes with um, is his lightsaber, uh, which is newly sculpted, and it's blue as well. You know, it's accurate for him. Uh, so, pretty cool. Um, that's the only accessory he really comes with. Um, so yeah. Uh, the figure himself is a completely new sculpt. They didn't, re uh, use another Jedi, uh, body for it. They just completely redid it. So, it's pretty nice. Um, what else? Uh, for his little, uh, karma thingy right here that's soft goods, or fabric, or whatever you want to say. So, um, that was kind of a nice addition as well. So you can move his legs, uh, a lot more if you wanted to. Um, so yeah. Um, articulation on him is ball jointed head, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, civil wrist, civil waist, civil hips, and ball hinge knees. Uh, sadly, he doesn't have any ankle articulation, which sucks. Um, that's why I have him on the stand right now, because he can't really stand up that well. Um, but, you know, still very cool looking figure. Um, even on the back here, they sculpted his hood, which is kind of like sagging down there, which is really nice looking. Um, it's got his little ponytail, of course. Um, great looking figure overall. Uh, this one thing I don't really understand is why is his hands a darker color than the skin tone on his head? I don't really get that. I saw in the pre the pre production figures that uh, some of the eBay China sellers are um, selling that they have these hands. Uh, they're a lot darker than his head skin tone. Uh, I'm not really sure why they're supposed to be like that. Um, I'm pretty sure they're not supposed to be darker because in this series who's completely the same skin tone. Um, but I'm not really sure why they did that. It might be a factory mistake or something, but I don't know. Uh, but I don't really like it, though. Um, but, anyways, that's pretty much it for this figure. Uh, very sturdy, nice, detailed figure. I really like the head sculpt on him. It looks looks pretty nice. Um, the only thing I don't like about him is that his hands are a different uh, color, um, and also that he can't really stand up that well due to not having ball-jointed ankles. Um, so I'm going to give him a, I'll say 4.5 out of 5, uh, because the only reason why is because, you know, he doesn't have any articulation in his ankles, um, and the skin tone color is different on his hands. 
But other than that, it's, you know, it's a great looking figure, uh, good detail, and he'll probably sell pretty well. So if you do see him, pick him up immediately. Great figure for your Jedi collection in the Clone Wars. So anyways, that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys in the next review.